A selfless act from a stranger saved a Minnesota teenager's life. Gavin Dames' mother describes his second kidney transplant as divine intervention. WCCO's Marielle Mo shows us how paying it forward paid off. He had just enough kidney function to survive. Gavin Dames was born with underdeveloped kidneys. Just before his first birthday on December 7th, 2005, Gavin got a donated kidney that lasted through his childhood years. But in 2020, his kidney function started declining and he needed to go back on dialysis. You basically get hooked up to this machine for four hours for two days. His mom, Jessica, was not a match, yet she still donated her kidney to the National Living Donor Registry to improve her son's chances to get that match. It was nice of her to be willing to go through all that. A few months later, he got the match. His second transplant happened on December 7th, 2022, exactly 17 years to the date from his first one. Just had this peace about it, knowing it's supposed to happen this way. This is the way it's supposed to go. There are several uh, instances in, in, uh, in medical care where we feel that uh, faith overcomes uh, facts, and this may be one of those examples. Transplant surgeon Dr. Raja Kandaswamy helped with both of Gavin's transplants. He says the advancements in organ pairing helped them find the nearly perfect match for Gavin. The chances of rejection of this kidney, which is often an issue in transplantation, are much lower when the matching is better. But even with all of the medical advancement, saving a life comes down to one selfless person. A woman in Wisconsin who just out of the goodness of her heart felt this pull to donate a kidney. She had no reason to, no one in her life needed a kidney, she just did it. In Minneapolis, Marielle Mose, WCCO 4 News. If you'd like to save a life, we do have details on how to become a living donor at our website, wcco.com.